Senior naval officials have said that the Indian Navy is fully backing the development of the 4.5-plus-plus generation twin-engine deck-based fighter that is currently undergoing wind tunnel testing and design improvements that will reduce its radar cross-section to agreeable levels, due to which the void of fifth-generation carrier Bond fighter won't be felt by the Navy. A small group of naval liaison officers have already been deputed with the Aeronautical Development Agency so that the aircraft's final design freeze happens in the required time frame to avoid any further delays in the program. The Aeronautical Development Agency plans to freeze the final design before the 13,000 crore rupees TED BF program is sent to Ministry of Defence for financial clearance and project approval by end of this year. Hindustan Aeronautics will start metal cutting and fabrication of the first aircraft by 2024, and the first flight is expected to be carried out by 2026. The DRDO has congratulated the Indo-Russian joint venture firm Brahmos Aerospace on the 20th anniversary of the maiden test of Brahmos supersonic cruise missile, which currently involves over 200 small and medium Indian public and private defence sector enterprises and institutions. The Brahmos has been deployed as a primary strike weapon on naval ships sub-sea launched configuration and air launched configuration that has a range of 450 km, and the 800 km range Brahmo's extended range variant will be tested by the end of 2021, while the development team is also working on a 1,500 km range version, that will initially be a land-based missile, but once the system is proven, it will need some modifications for the air launched and naval variant. A smaller and lighter Brahmos NG variant will also be ready by 2024, which has already found a suitable choice for Brazil's Gripen E fighter jet and also for its nuclear-powered attack submarine which is being built with France. The Brahmos Aerospace is also developing Brahmos 2 hypersonic missile in two stages, which includes a Mach 5 capable variant by 2024, and a Mach 7 capable variant by 2027. A professor from Mechanical and Industrial Engineering Department of Indian Institute of Technology Ruki has been conferred with the NSG Innovator Award 2021, for his contribution and innovation in the design and development of blast-resistant helmet. Military helmets are classically designed for protection against ballistic impact, with little attention for protection against blast. This indigenously developed blast-resistant helmet is an advanced version of conventional helmets that will protect military personnel from IED-induced blast waves. The Indian Army is looking to acquire two kinds of unmanned aerial vehicles, the first is the US-built RQ-11 hand-launched remote control UAV, that has a flight endurance of 90 minutes and an effective operational radius of 10 kilometers, to provide intelligence about enemy positions and troop movements, while the second UAV eyed by the Army is the Firefly loitering munition built by Israel's Rafale Advanced Defense Systems. The battery-powered Firefly can fit in a backpack, and it has an endurance of 15 minutes for strike missions, while its endurance can also be doubled if its warhead is replaced with a second battery for surveillance missions. The Indian Army had ordered 17 flat-bottomed boats from the Goa-based Aquarius Shipyard Private Limited, and according to latest reports, the delivery of the first few boats has already begun, and the delivery of 17 units is set to be completed by September 2021, and the majority of them will be deployed at the Pangongtsu Lake in eastern Ladakh for rapid deployment of troops. The boats are 35 feet in length and has the capacity to carry about 22 soldiers, and the boats can be equipped with light weapons in the future. The Army has also started receiving the first few units of the 12 high-performance patrol boats, that was signed with Goa Shipyard Limited in January 2021.